Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is October 13th and it looks like there's a pretty big update inside of Goodlock and it's inside the module called Theme Park. Now once you update Theme Park, it gives you a brand new addition that is called Keys Cafe. It's a way that you're able to fully customize your keyboard from all the nooks and crannies, the colors, the letters, the numbers, the enter, all of those circle dotted areas is something you're able to fully customize. You can also choose if you're making this keyboard, if you're using light mode or if you're using dark mode. So if you some Sometimes switch it between the two you're able to have a different keyboard per whenever you're using either light mode or dark mode so to show you what mine looks like that I created this is the one that I have created right here so anytime I'm using dark mode this is the keyboard so just as example let's say we go to the very top and I turn off my my dark mode when I open up the keyboard you can see it goes right back to normal so we're gonna go right back over inside of dark mode and now let's move on back and let me show you how you're able to create your own. And one of the most important things I gotta mention here is that GoodLock, it is a region locked application. I really don't know why. If you're part of the United States or any of the areas you're able to search and download it with ease, you're able to find it inside of your Galaxy Store and inside of Galaxy Store, just search for GoodLock. Now, once you have GoodLock downloaded, you're gonna move over to the Family tab on the very bottom right-hand side, and this is where you see Theme Park. Now, if you already had Theme Park installed and you used it, you'll be able to notice that there was an update. Now, I'm not a big fan of Theme Park. I didn't like the themes that kind of came with it. I even tried to fully customize all my own uh, underneath the Theme tab, and you can see up here, there's quite a few differences when you try to create one. If you wanna make it from a current wallpaper, gallery, previous work, there's a lot of changes with Theme Park, so you might want to take a look but in terms of theme park for what i would be using it for it's only right here underneath keyboard now it looks like there's also a tbd so to be determined looks like there's going to be more features added inside of here so make sure you guys stay tuned so you might as well just download this one even if you don't fully use it download it just to see if there's any updates for whatever they're adding in because maybe when they add something new you might actually use it just like what happened with me here with keyboard oh yeah and by the way if you guys are brand new here at the channel of jimmy is promo and you guys appreciate these tips tricks and tutorials on your samsung galaxy devices and these brand new updates to anything samsung make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos now if you want to take a look at your preview of what it looks like you just tap on that little keyboard on the very bottom this is the one that i've created you can see that there's a check mark if i actually tap that and the check mark goes away then it's going to take away what i just got done creating it's going to go back to the stock dark mode keyboard now again, once you tap on it one more time, it's gonna show you what it's moving to. Uh, so this is just what happens when you create more. So now that we've done that, how about we go through and we actually create one. So you can go to one of your previous works or you can go to create new. Now with this one here, it's on light mode. Uh, you can switch this one over into dark mode if you wanna create one for your dark mode. Now when you're actually fully completely done with all of your customizations, you hit on that download button. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put it over into dark mode. It's a little bit easier to see everything here. Now, if you don't know what all of these little circles mean, all you'd have to do is simply tap on it and then you're able to change the color and see what it does. That's kind of what I did at the beginning. Uh, so here you can go through, you can actually change what it looks like. Uh, and you know what? Actually, since we already have one created for dark mode, let's go back to light and let's kind of change these colors a little bit more so it's easier to see. So when it comes down to me being in the light mode, uh, this is going to be the keyboard for it. So on the very top over here, you're going to see that there's a little dot right there. That is what you are changing. So let's say that you wanted to change the saturation and maybe you wanted to go with a color that looks like this. When you tap on that, that means that you're changing the entire background. Now, if you're not a fan of that, just simply click back on that one. If you want it to be dark, if you want it to be light. So I'm going to keep it kind of like this grayish, dark gray color. Now over here on the very bottom right hand side, when you tap on this one, you can add in a uh, color or an image. So we're going to go back over into the images and let's say that we do, let's play with one of these. Okay, let's go, no, let's go back into saturation. I want to see exactly what exactly this does. So I'm going to put in that like purplish color. So this one on the very bottom right hand side is changing the key color. Uh, this one on the very top is everything on the outside. Now let's change this one. I believe this one is actually for all of the letters. So with the letters, I'm going to go with kind of this color here. And you can see that all the letters have completely changed. So let's, you know what, white looks pretty good for this option here. Now let's move over inside of this little area and it looks like you're able to uh, add in an image. So whatever image you would like to add in, you're able to tap it. That's if you want a background you know, image to be back there. So I'm not really a big fan of that one. I'm gonna keep it the way that this is. Um, then you're gonna have, let's see, this little dot right here. Uh, let's go inside of color. 
and let's go into this uh, let's go down a little bit more yellowish more of a mustardy color so when you tap on the letter so when you tap on your keyboard if you want it to change to that second accented color that's exactly what this one is here so sometimes when you type through you're trying to check to make sure that maybe you're typing in your password on a banking app or really any other application and you're making sure that you have the right uh, letter then you're able to do this so you can see it actually change there without having to look on the top with the uh, the letter popping up sometimes when you type in a password those little letters don't even pop up so you don't know what you're doing and you see the little black dots so it's kind of nice having that secondary color come in so you know for a fact as a confirmation that that is the one you typed if you have all those dots on the top so now let's go to this very last little dot on the very top uh, left hand side let's go to a different color I'm gonna go into this uh, let's go with this like pinkish color let's see what that one changes so I'm pretty sure that just means that when you go inside of capital or if you press and hold on that key and you have those other options then that second bar line of uh, you know colors or that second bar line of all the letters is gonna be this color now when you're fully done with this one and again this is if you use it in light mode you want to go down and you just want to hit on download so I'm gonna call this one you know light uh, let's see you can't put spaces so let's go into light mode so now anytime that I wanted to use that one when it's in light mode uh, or at least when it's in light mode that's what it's gonna look like so let me show you what I mean so let's say that we go through and we tap this one uh, and we're gonna select it now what's gonna happen is because I'm in dark mode um, it's gonna pull up regular dark mode right that's kind of what we we're talking about from before now when you pull this one on down and you and you deselect dark mode so now that it's changed when we go back inside of the application what we should see is the one that we just got done creating and then if you remember right when you tap on the color it kind of goes into that you know pinkish looking color so it's you're going to have that confirmation that that is what you're actually you know selecting it's changing colors you can see it. it's actually pretty nice uh, now again if we go right up over here uh, and we tap it because we're in light mode it's not going to show us our, our dark mode that we created so that's probably going to be the biggest you know important thing here is when you create it you got to remember what you're creating it for so what we just got on creating was for light mode when you hit this one here now whatever you create here is going to be for your dark mode so that's pretty much all of the circles mean this is going to be you know what color your letters are going to be uh, you can also change what the background is going to be you can add in if you want a full image in the background uh, when you tap this one what color do you want that accented you know showing confirmation letter to be it's actually really cool to have this so now that we're inside of light mode but i selected that dark mode uh, keyboard you can see that nothing is really showing up here now once we move this one right on over right back inside of that dark mode now you're going to see the one that we just got done creating for the dark mode option now if i move it over into light mode just go back inside of your theme park switch it over to that other one it's actually pretty cool and one thing i hope in the future is that when you go back inside of your theme park you'd be able to have one that you create for dark mode one that you create for light mode and then anytime that you switch between the two hopefully it'll be able to do that uh, but you know that'll probably come with some time right now we're just switching back over inside if we wanted to use light mode now we're switching it back over if we wanted to use dark mode so i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later